All right, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to put our mouse in a drawer. We're gonna make ourselves use just the keyboard. I have a link to this spreadsheet. It's in the description. It'll bring you straight there if you wanna follow along. And the point of what we're doing is we're not going to try to memorize 20 different shortcut keys. We're going to go through what I would consider a core set of shortcut keys. They're the only ones that I know, but they help me to use spreadsheets far faster than just using the mouse. All right, so we have this. Uh, I just went to try to grab the mouse. Uh, here's my keyboard. And the first thing that we're going to do, there's an empty row in here and we're going to find it. But the classic thing that I see people do, there's a long table of data. They'll take their mouse and they'll just scroll through it so that you'll hear the wheel going and they'll just look through it like this. Well, that's fine if it's just 20 rows or maybe 100 rows, but a lot of spreadsheets are 10,000 rows, right? So what you can do is if you hold down the control key and then use the arrows, we'll do it to the right right now. So I'm holding the control key, go to the right. The cell that's selected moves all the way it can in that direction until there's a gap. So that comes in handy when you want to find blank rows. So I'm going to hold down the control key. I'm going to press down and I'll go down one more so you can see it a little bit clearer. It goes to the first blank row. So it just Skip down to row 79, I went down one more to 80, and we're already where we want to fix things up. So what we want to do is delete this row. A lot of times in spreadsheets you want to select a row, right? You might want to make it bold because it's a header. You might want to delete it, move it around. What you can do is just hold down the shift key and press the space bar. And in this case you have to press it twice because there's a blank column in here as well. And then you have the row selected. And from there, all you have to do is hold down control while holding down alt and the minus key. That deletes your row. So let's check to see if we have any more. So we'll go back a step and remember how we do that is using the up and down arrow, but we're going to combine it with control. And so that'll bring us all the way down to there's another gap. Let's go down a little bit more just with some single arrow keys and you see there's nothing left. So we've deleted the row. Now, just to get some repetition and to understand this concept, let's do it with a column. So we'll hold down the control key again. This is a little bit more obvious looking, but if I hit the right button, it brings me to column E because F is blank and G is blank as well. So let's try that from the other side to get the same concept. Hold down the control key, I'll hit left, and it stops at H. So what we want to do is we want to delete F and G. So we'll be using the control key and the shift key over and over. And those two concepts alone will get you twice as fast with a spreadsheet. So let's go one to the left. So we'll hit the arrow key, we're in column G. Now do control in your space bar. So shift in the space bar did a row, control in the space bar does a column, and you have that column selected. While still holding down the control, let's hit the space bar one more time to select the entire column. And now we want to expand this range. So when you want to expand the range and get everything in between, you want to start holding down the shift key. So I'll hold down the shift key right now and hit the left arrow. And I've expanded the range to contain both of the columns that we want to delete. Now we'll do that control alt minus again. Got rid of the area I selected. In that case, it was a column. All right, so our table's already a lot tighter. There's no empty columns, no empty rows. A great way to check is to hold the control key down, go all the way to the right, all the way to the left. If you forget any of these shortcut keys, you can always just use the control and the forward slash key in the middle of what you're doing. This window will just pop up and you can look for something like delete rows. And it's going to remind you that it's control alt minus. So that's super handy. And <laughs> it's a little off topic, but to close this window without the mouse, I just tabbed over to where the X was and I'll hit the space bar. You probably don't have to remember that one. All right, the next thing that we're going to do, let's go to the bottom of the table. And now let's act like the person that you got this table from, you, you know, they're just not very familiar with spreadsheets and you're afraid that they may have hard keys and data instead of use formulas. So if you hold down the control key and press the tilde key, that's going to show you all the formulas in the spreadsheet. In this case, there's only one. Here, a more advanced spreadsheet. This would change the way the entire thing looks. 
but it allows you to look in all the formulas at one time. And in this case, you're realizing that this is just hard keyed in here. You want it to be a sum in case any of these values change, it will update. So now let's just uh, use some more shortcut keys here. So let me do control tilde to get the show formulas off. And I want to copy this formula from H105 over to I105 because I want both of these to be sum formulas. The way to do this, which is far faster than right click, copy, right click, paste using your mouse or typing the sum function over again, is just to hold down the control key and press C for copy. Use your right arrow, go to I105 and control V is in Victor for paste. It's not control P because that's print. That was decided 20 years ago. So we're stuck with control V for paste. And if I wanna see if there's a formula in here, I can either look up at the formula bar or I can hit the F2 key. And the F2 key comes in handy a lot because if you wanna modify the formula, you either have to double click in the cell, which is using your mouse or just hit F2. So if you hit escape key, it toggles back out of it, F2 to get in it. And you just use your arrows to move around. So I get escape to get back out of that. And I want to show you one more function here that's very handy in certain situations. Okay, so what I did was I copy and pasted, right? So that's going to take the contents of one cell, paste them into another. It will adjust formulas, so I use it all the time. But sometimes you might just want to repeat the last action that you did. So let's delete this. We'll retype the sum formula. So just type sum. And to get the range in here without a mouse, hit the up arrow. I'm going to hold down control, so it goes all the way up. I'm also going to hold down shift, so it selects everything in between. Hit the up arrow, it goes all the way up. Now you notice it went up one too many. So I will take the control key off, so I'm just holding shift now. I'll hit the down arrow once, and now I have my range. I'm going to type the ending parentheses and hit enter, and there you go. Okay, if you had a lot more columns and you wanted to repeat this action, another way to do it is to use a key that just repeats your last action. All right, so this isn't an official Google Sheets shortcut key. It's actually a carryover from Excel, so it's not in Google Sheets documentation. But if I go into J105, it doesn't really make sense here because there's no data. But if I hit F4, it puts the sum function in there again. So you may ask, well, what's the point of doing that if you can just copy and paste? But what F4 can also do is that it's repeating the last action. It's just not copying and pasting. So if I were to, let's say, uh, let's just delete a row again. So I'll hold down the shift key as we went through before, and I'll tap on the space bar twice. Control Alt minus to get rid of a row. Okay, I can repeat that with the F4 key. There we go, I just deleted another row. So remembering the F4 key, depending on what you're doing in spreadsheets, can save a ton of time if you remember to use it. All right, let's assume that this data is good. And what we want to do is select all of it. So I've just gone back up to the top here, uh, but we're going to use the shortcut key of Control A. And that will select the entire table. It's aware of where the boundaries are. Uh, just selecting the table is probably fine, but if you want to select everything in the spreadsheet, just do Control A again. So you're seeing the same concept as when we were trying to select the rows. It does a smaller part. If you want it to expand, just do the same command again. We want to get rid of the bold font and we want to get rid of the underlined font here just so that everything is the same. But there are only a few cells that are bold. So the shortcut for that is just to make everything bold. So hold down control and type the B key as in bold and then just do it again. So that turned them all on and then turned them all off. So we'll do the same thing with underline. We're going to do control U and control U again. And now all the font styling is the same in the table. We're going to just do one more thing just to make this kind of apparent that it's a table. We're going to hold down the control key and we're going to go up and then uh, you see the same concepts repeating. So I'm going to hold the shift key. I'll press the space bar. This time, let's not press it twice, right? We don't need the entire row four. Really, all we're trying to do is style this table. So we'll just do it once, and we'll, we'll do Control B. And then I want to center align this data. But let's say I don't know the shortcut key for center aligning, but if what you're trying to do is not use your mouse, 
you don't need to know all the shortcut keys. Let's do Alt O to get us into the format menu. We'll type A to go down to align and then C to center align it. All right, so I hope that with some practice that you can learn these and just get a lot faster using spreadsheets, right? Because if you're faster at the end of the day, maybe you're done working earlier. Maybe you do more work, I don't know. Or maybe you just watch another video. So if you wanna watch another video, you check out this one on how to sort by color. It's a pretty cool little function that's built into Google Sheets. I'll see you in that video. Thanks.